All right. Let's make a building real quick. Uh, 1300 West Lake. Um, this was announced maybe last month. I was kind of hesitant on modeling this one because I feel like the design is gonna change on this. Who knows when that'll be, so might as well get it into into my model so that this thing uh, stays up to date. Right, meow. It's gonna go right there. Yeah, 530 feet, so it's gonna stand out pretty good in the skyline. We'll, we'll take a look at it at the end. I'm not really a fan of the design of it. I like the height, but we'll get to that once we see how it looks like inside of the Chicago skyline. Yeah, so let's get started. So here's 3DS Max, this is where we're going to do our modeling. So I've got this uh, Committee on Design presentation. I think I can steal some info from here. I think I can steal this to get some dimensions. And then I need some heights of stuff. Okay, division, blah, blah, blah. I need to know the heights of this stuff. How tall is this, this setback? There you go. And it's not gonna tell me. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna have to go off of scaling one of these. All right, I think we got enough to start modeling. All right, that is to scale according to the plan. Now we should be able to just draw on, trop on top of this, on top of this, and then it should work. Hey. All right. Yeah, because it's the correct width and the correct height, scaling this picture will give us all of the other dimensions that we need. Look at that. Why is it so uneven? These are like, is there a reason for that? What the f They're all just different sizes. I guess these two are even, and then these three are even. Ugh, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, again, this building's a little, a little messy, messy. There we go. Why do I feel like I'm doing this wrong? up the front of the building. Let's look how jacked this all is. Pretty bad. <laughs> what the f I think, okay. Okay, what the f How does this work? Yeah, the fun thing about modeling is there's like 37 ways to do literally the same thing, which is cool. That being said, it's like, am I doing like the slowest way possible? I don't know, maybe. You just don't know, as long as you get it done. Yeah, I was actually modeling a couple weeks ago, maybe two hours of footage that I was recording, just updating miscellaneous buildings in the West Loop. I was gonna turn it into a video. Could not use any of the footage. I had the wrong OBS setup, basically, and it wasn't capturing what I was doing on my screen. I mean, it wasn't a complete waste. I got a lot of updates to the Chicago model finished, but you know, it's a learning experience because um, now I know like what to sort of checklist before I start recording myself. Boom. I 
think we have a building. All right, let's get some textures for this bad boy. I think we can use either these, although they're, they look blurry. These look blurry too. It's funny, whenever I see these like presentation models are always like out of date. It's just a crazy neighborhood to keep up with. Um, I mean, I have trouble keeping up with it, so. But they can hire me, take some screenshots of my model. Now there is an alternate where it looks a little better. All right, let's go. Uh, what? Photoshop crashed. They do have a lot of shit open. Please don't crash again. I need to save like every 10 seconds. long section of sped up footage. If you're wondering why there's other building textures on here, it's because I, I use the same material for multiple buildings at a time. It just optimizes things. You don't need material for every single building. You can share the, share the JPEG with other buildings. And we just gotta put that texture that we made onto the building. And then we're importing it into Unreal. Then we're done can take a look at it, see how it looks in the skyline. This stuff's pretty tedious, but uh, it's worth it, right? It makes it look good. If I didn't do all these texturing, it would, you know, look like all the other Chicago models that you see online. Normally when I do this, I'm like jamming to music, but when I'm recording myself, it's, I'm just sitting here in a room of silence with my mouse clicking like crazy. And I'm like, why does this feel so slower? It's because I don't have music. Holy. All right, let's uh, put it into the main model. criticism of this building is I think I like the alternate better where the facade all goes one direction because basically like this is vertical and this is horizontal that's kind of weird then the sawtooth doesn't continue the whole way an interesting choice I mean BKL has done stuff similar on some of their buildings it just doesn't look as good here like it's okay the material changes but like I don't know it's just my opinion I don't know also it doesn't feel like the West Loop. I don't know if you're familiar with Chicago, it's just this would feel more at home in River North maybe. Not that all the buildings in the West Loop need to be the same. I mean, there's a lot of brick, a lot of steel, and a lot of um, orange paneling that's pretending to be brick. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't need to feel like it's a part of the neighborhood, at least the tower portion. The lower portion, you know, is what people are most likely going to criticize, as long as that feels integrated with the neighborhood. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I'm just scrolling around this thing. There's a lot going on. A lot of these buildings aren't, aren't there yet. I have a feeling the design's going to change. I hope it doesn't get shorter. Although it is, it is kind of growing on me. Now that I see it here, and not just the... Not just these. Looks like five buildings. Nice to see. This is why I do this. This is why I 
model everything because I'm gonna get excited about this stuff. I'd like to nerd out about this stuff, but. All right, I think that's it. I'll see you at the next one. Bye. Thank you.